Hi everyone and welcome to this new video of the Floss Marketing School. Today we are going to show how you can track a given email with uh, the user ID and uh, Matomo, Matomo Tag Manager and PHP List as well. So PHP List is an email solution uh, provider which allows you uh, to send some uh, newsletters and some emailing. For the sake of this example, what we're going to do is that uh, we're going to use a temporary email, right? That's the one that we're gonna take. So this one represents one of the user of our database. In our case, that's gonna be uh, Zoali. And um, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna add it to the list of my subscriber, right? If I click here on manage subscriber, I will uh, see the list of all the subscriber that I have. I'm gonna add one and this one's gonna be uh, this given user, right? So we can give it, of course, a name and a first name. And this is my database, right? And within my database, I can add an attribute in PHP list. So an attribute will be, for example, like uh, an extra name or whatever you want. Uh, so in my case, I name it uh, lead ID. I'm going to give it a, a fake uh, number like we do with user ID, for example. I'm going to give like the 175 and then I'm going to create uh, like a campaign um, emailing. So that's going to, I call it like user ID test in my case. So that's the user ID test going to be sent from this given email address. And here I have a link, as you can see, right? This is the text of my of my newsletter and within my newsletter if i look at the link you will see that i have the lead id and the lead id is going to take the attributes so in my case it's going to automatically take uh, the um the lead id of the one that i just defined which is uh, 875 and then i can probably add my pekka uh, campaign parameters over here like newsletter i'm just going to give it like a newsletter 5 just in order to make it a bit different and um and yes so here i just need to define over here what is the person i will send it to okay okay so that's that's the thing so i'm gonna uh, click on send test in a couple of seconds but now i need to explain you what's gonna happen so if i click on this given link right the one that you can see up here is gonna go on the page which is floss uh, blah 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 uh, by sending actually those two parameters the lead id and the pekka campaign and if i would like to get the lead id as the user id in matmo analytics what i need to do is um, i need to set it so i go over here in tag manager in tag manager i want the user id feature to be used so that's why we'll use the general tag matomo analytics which add um, a variable and this variable is the user id right that's the one that you can see up here right so i will need to use this given feature and i will need to enter here a variable and my variable is named lead id in my case and this lead id variable is the following one it's a page um, url parameter so it's every time that i see a parameter within the url which equals lead id so lead id is the given Oops, the given parameter that you can see up here. So when Matomo is going to see a parameter which is named lead ID, it's going to pick up the value which is just after. This is what it means here, right? So this is why I call it lead ID. And, um, and that's it. Actually, I don't have any things left to do except, of course, publishing my my tag so everything has been done here i have one tag which is the classic matomonatics tag with the user id running the trigger is all page views and i just have two variables and that's it normally so we're going to see now uh, if i send this given email so i'm going to send it right now send it okay i leave the page okay so normally this should have been received so if i do like a refresh let's see okay let's see i received the email uh, if I look at my dashboard over here and I look at the given traffic that I'm receiving, as you can see, I'm using Opera here. Um, so not yet registered, okay. Uh, they are all Internet Explorer. And if I look over here and click over here, um, so now if I click on this link, so this link is redirecting to 
my uh, PHP list software. So it's gonna have like a redirect. And here you see the lead ID took the user ID value, which is 875. That's because I'm sending it to the same email address, which has this given lead ID, campaign newsletter number five. And now let's see if I'm lucky enough. Let's see how this information will be pushed. Okay, so it's close to the right answer, right? As you can see, I get the Opera thing. I get my user ID 875. And here I still do not understand. Maybe it's due to a PHP list, which is rewriting something or keeping something in, in memory, or I, I don't know what it is, but it's it, uh, it keeps actually the information campaign name, which is not the one that I expected. So we we'll probably need to dig a little bit more deeper into uh, what PHP list is taking over here, because definitely the campaign name is not the right one. I could as well play with campaign keyword and things in order to see what the information are looking for, but just for the sake of this example, which was to show actually what is the user ID, I guess that it would be enough. And that's it uh, for the video of today. We hope that you enjoy it. Uh, please feel free to try to insert the user ID within a newsletter or an email, and you will see actually those information uh, coming out within uh, Matomo Analytics. Once more, thanks for watching, and do not hesitate to share uh, your videos and experience online.